Coastal Kitchen is Royal Caribbean's private dining room and access is given to its guests who are staying in suites, its top tier loyalty members in both its regular loyalty programs and its casino program. We're going to spend a week in Coastal Kitchen and telling you our impressions of their execution of their menus. And kitties, pretty much every Coastal Kitchen on Royal Caribbean is going to have the same menus on Parallel Nights. The variance is how they execute. And we are on Oasis of the Seas. Their sailings going from Fort Lauderdale, and we're going to spend a week in Coastal Kitchen and tell you how their version executed these recipes, show you some of the things we liked, tell you about those, as well as some things that needed improvement. So let's walk through Coastal Kitchen on Oasis of the seas. And before we get started, one more tidbit. Coastal Kitchens are on Royal's newer ships. It's newer, larger ships. So on Quantum class ships, Oasis class ships, Icon class ships is where you'll find Coastal Kitchens. We sampled the vegetarian entree, which was a cauliflower steak that had Greek yogurt, uh, garlic, confit, pumpkin seeds, and thyme. It was tasty. The cauliflower was a little bit on the overcooked side for us, but it was tasty. The filet mignon was really a nice cut of beef, tender, and the truffle potatoes puree kitties was slamming, getting slamming. Coastal Kitchen serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and one of their lunch dishes is this grilled chicken sandwich on a baguette with gouda cheese. It was absolutely tasty and delicious. Baguette was nice, nice little sandwich with good, good potato wedges. And the star of their lunch was this grilled shrimp and spinach salad with tomatoes, feta, feta cheese, and a lemon vinaigrette. Lovely, lovely deliciousness and those candy pecans oh my god that thing was good and the key lime pie Royal does a good job with key lime pie with that mile high meringue it was delicious as well a nice smooth tart custard and the graham cracker crust was absolutely delicious the lobster mac and cheese was flat it sounds better as a dish than it actually is it's made with Parmesan and cheddar cheese. The cheddar tastes like a bag cheddar, so it doesn't have any cheese flavor to it. It really needs some funky cheese, like a blue cheese or something added, to give it a little bit more sophistication. It's mediocre. The ribeye was a low-grade slice of cow. Didn't have enough marbling, in our opinion, nor was it all that tender of a steak. One thing that Royal does to hide the weaker quality of some of its steaks is to bury it under gravy rather than serving the sauce on the side. The uh, grind potatoes that came with it were quite tasty and cheesy. Really, you should take that same cheesy recipe and put it on the very basic bland lobster mac and cheese. The dish that's labeled crab and shrimp crusted pollock was the worst, the worst dish I have ever had in Coastal Kitchen. I suspect it wasn't Pollock, but tilapia. It was severely overcooked, and the crab topping on the top was just an overcooked, dried up mess. Making matters worse was the plating and presentation. Amateur hour. In a restaurant, you don't just plop rice down on a plate. You shape the rice in a bowl, and you present it properly. Sloppy plating, terrible dish, throw the whole thing in the trash can. This little little soup was delicious. It was a very good soup. It was the kind of hearty soup that you would like to have on a cold New England day. It was well seasoned and flavorful with a little touch of rosemary. The lentils were nicely cooked. It was a lovely bowl of soup and made me want to get a second bowl. It was tasty. The roasted lamb loin had a lamb meatball, 
marinated cucumbers and our herb yogurt kitties. We got ours medium rare and kitties. This loin, this lamb tenderloin was slamming kitties slamming. It was delicious. A nice cut of lamb, perfectly medium rare, perfectly seasoned. Blah oh on the Roasted lamb loin. You want to get that one, kitties, if your coastal kitchen is serving it. It was delicious. The risotto was listed on the menu as a lobster saffron risotto, but I guess they ran out of something because there was shrimp on top of a very basic risotto. It wasn't as creamy as one might like, and it came out a little bit on the... Not so warm side, but it was just okay. Just okay. Perhaps those were micro shreds of lobster bits in the sauce, but they were so tiny that it was hard to tell what it actually was. But it was a basic risotto, not worth investing time in ordering. Now, they have this seafood soup. It's called a seafood velote. And it's a cream soup with shrimp, a little bit of caviar, and scallops. It was an average canned soup tasting dish. The soup itself was salty. It didn't have heavy cream, so it didn't have that heavy cream mouth feel. It really needed some strong fish stock to set it apart, but it lacked that. The branzino was a nice piece of fish, but the plating is poor. Look at how the rice is just clumped from some scoop. This is not premium or sweets restaurant quality plating, but the fish was tasty. Royal Caribbean has a bad habit of using different, cheaper ingredients than what's listed on its menus. And this one was listed as having basmati rice. They just gave us regular old-fashioned long grain rice. Not a big deal, but why lie about the ingredients? The fish cake, on the other hand, was trash. It wasn't that great of a appetizer. It was a bunch of filling. It was just a lot of nothing. Hard to describe because it was so mediocre. The cassoulet was flavorful. The beans were nicely cooked and all the little wintry vegetables blended well together. If you have one of veggie dish, that's a good one to get. The carrot cake was giving me very much boxed cake. It was not giving me fine dining. It was not giving me a sweets lounge experience. It was giving me something mediocre, a spiced cake out of a box. It lacked that cream cheese punch you need in an icing and a carrot cake. Average. Now, were this the buffet or even the main dining room, this cake would work. But for a private dining sweets lounge experience, not to have pineapple coming at you and all kinds of lovely nuts and things and not having shreds of carrot in there, it was a disappointment. And before we get to the end of the last several dishes we sampled, as a reminder, Coastal Kitchen is the private dining room mainly for sweets guests. So you would expect a very high service level in this venue. There have been some staffing cutbacks and so the assistant waiters that they once had in Coastal Kitchen are no longer there. But still, our server was incredible. We had the same server on most nights and she was absolutely incredible on Oasis of the Seas, kitties. Now back to the food. The short rib served with beans and polenta was a nice cut. Had that nice marbling on top that you need from a good short rib. It was tender, very nice dish. And the chocolate tart is always a winner. The shortbread crust was nice and crunchy. And the custard was absolutely creamy. The chocolatey decadence. A very nice, sweet dessert ending. The Thai curry veggie dish was really good as a matter of fact. It had nice spice and kick to it. Sorry presentation but a tasty vegetarian dish. It had eggplant, cashews, red peppers, and a spicy 
sauce, and it's more spicy than Royal usually does, and we loved every spicy hot bit. We also tried the lobster and shrimp ravioli, which at its core was just a ricotta stuffed ravioli with micro tiny teeny bits of lobster and shrimp. It was tasty. The pasta was nicely cooked. It wasn't a great dish. It was a good dish. The lobster bisque was also tasty, but it could use heavy cream. It tasted to us like they were using half and half, so it didn't have that decadent kind of mouthfeel to it. But it was an okay bisque. Again, micro bits of lobster. Kitties, kitties, kitties. These lamb chops were slamming, kitty slamming. Tender, perfectly medium rare, delicious, delicious, delicious. Good grade of lamb. Nice. Get those lamb chops, kitties. And the scallops were also perfectly cooked, not overcooked, just kind of medium, tender, delicious, nice seafood flavor, and those snow peas really worked on that dish. Get those scallops as well. Unfortunately, the red velvet cake was terrible. It was the quality of a Walmart sheet cake, no cream cheese, and it's whipped cream topping. The crumb for the cake was mediocre and lousy. Throw that whole thing in the dumpster. It would embarrass the Golden Corral Buffet. A lousy, lousy, lousy piece of red velvet cake. The French onion soup was available nightly in Coastal Kitchen. And it had a nice thick coating of cheese on the top. Nice broiled cheese. And the soup itself was good and beefy with that delicious caramelized onion flavor as well. And the duck. This time around was very nice with the nice broiled skin cooked perfectly as a matter of fact and well seasoned with the grapes and a mashed potato and spinach combination supporting it. Delicious as a matter of fact. And one of the standard items that you can also usually get in the main dining room towards the end of the week is the lamb shank which was tender, fall off the bone, deliciousness. Never, ever, ever skip the lamb shank. Delicious. Overall, we found this to be one of the better coastal kitchens in the Royal Caribbean franchise. The food overall was well presented. They struggle, as Royal does overall, with the desserts. Overall, the desserts were weak. But one thing about the sweets lounge side of this was the food was often picked over. And it wasn't very well maintained. There were dirty plates around the lounge for long periods of time. And while service on the dining room side was consistently strong, on the lounge side, the service was the worst we have seen in a sweet lounge. It was so bad that many people were getting up to get their own drinks from the bar, which is not a big deal. But if people are paying sweet prices, they should get sweet service. But the lounge side was a total mismanaged mess not impressed at all by it fortunately the restaurant side did have great service and overall very good food a coastal kitchen certainly we tried a lot of dishes didn't get a chance to get around to everything but um if you have any questions comments let us know in the comment section below don't forget to like share subscribe love to hear from you as we move on to our next cruise Travel, yes, yes, yes. Travel, yes, please.